What's going on YouTube? Today I am bringing you my green Rookie Rush D-Brigade list that I have been using a lot on webcam duels. I have been testing D-Brigades so much because I really, really love this archetype. I really think D-Brigades are really cool and I've been wanting to get the best list possible so I've been trying a lot of different things such as having a Black War Greymon engine, a Kress Garurumon engine, I've tried it with purple, I've tried multiple things and this is the deck that I've come that that I've made that has been the best successful for me, that has the best time in most matchups and has the biggest chance to come back even when you have a board wipe, which is something that I found uh, D Brigade to have a really hard time with. Um, getting board wiped and then your opponent playing blockers. This deck has a lot better chance dealing with those. Um, so I went 14 and six in webcam duels, which is about 70% win rate. As far as the best of three goes, I'll place all the matchups either on screen or in the description right now so you can go ahead and see what I played against while doing the testing for this list and uh, how I fared against them but with that being said let's go ahead and get right on into the list so to start off we have our four Missimon and one Sunamon as our eggs. Missimon just makes sense because we have so many D Brigades and Commandermons that you're going to be getting the plus 1000 on there, which not only helps you swing over some blockers and some opposing Digimon, but also just makes security checks safer so you have a better chance of surviving to attack again. And then Sunamon is just a good fifth egg because you're going to have so many Commandermons on the field that if you Digivolve a Commandermon onto the Sunamon, you're almost always going to get the plus 2000 DP boost. So it works perfectly with the Missimons. It's a little less consistent, but it's in a way a little bit better. Um, but it's a good fifth egg. Next up, we have our 12 Commandermons. We have the four starter deck Commandermon, the four two drop Commandermon, and then most importantly, the four rare Commandermon. This Commandermon is the main engine of the deck. When it's on deletion, you get to check the top three cards and play Commandermon and most likely recycle this Commandermon. And then paired with Tanktramon, which you'll see later, you get an extra two checks every time a D Brigade dies. So if you have a Tanktramon out or two Tanktramon out and this Commandermon dies, you get multiple, multiple checks and you get to just refill the board. Um, and then being able to get a security check and essentially be able to recycle the Digimon if it does go away is extremely powerful, especially in a Rookie Rush deck because you want to get as much damage as possible and get as much security down so that way you can get that end game Tanktramon play. I'm sorry, uh, Darktramon play. So now let's go ahead and some more uh, level threes. We have four Jazamon and four Hagurumon. These are our black two drops. Um, they are just that it's a rookie rush deck you want to get as much stuff down as possible so we want to play all the two drops that we can so that way we can just swarm the board and this is one of the reasons why I feel like this deck can really survive board wipes because if your opponent's going to wipe their board you're they're going to give you a lot of memory and with that memory you can get two three four two drops out um, and then even potentially with a board wipe you can get commandermon and you can go from a board wipe straight back to four or five different digimon on the board in just one turn so the two drops really important. The Jazamon is a bit rough with the one Digivolution cost, but we have so many other uh, options to Digivolve onto our eggs that this doesn't really happen that often. So it's just a two, thousand, uh, two drop, uh, 4,000. Next, getting into the green engine, we're gonna have four Lylemon as well as four Araurumon. I believe I said that correctly, I'm not sure, but these are just two drop 5,000. The two to Digivolve doesn't matter because we don't have any green Digi eggs in this deck. Um, these are just our two drops uh, from green. The, the 5,000 is super powerful because not only does this let you do a lot better in the Shine Greymon matchup because they have to take two Tamers just to pop one level three, but they're also really good versus War Growlmon. So these really help in the yellow matchup because it's a lot, lot harder for them to clear up as well as the 5000s trade into Pedomon. So they aren't as um, inclined to block these ones. So they have a higher chance of getting two or three security checks or at least attacks in. And so, yeah, these are the rest of our two drops. Um, this is, is going to end the level threes. We have 28 level threes with eight of them being green. Um, and we'll get on to the rest of the green package here in a little bit and talk about why green is so important. But to get into the four drops, we're going to have four seals Dramon. It's a D brigade. It's a blocker. I'm not the biggest fan of running a blocker that costs memory to attack in this game, but um, it does help versus 
more aggressive uh, mirror matches or if they're like a rookie rush mirror match. Um, as well as since it's a blocker, it does incentivize this card going to the trash, which does help us set up for Dark Dramon later. So um, the fact that it's a D Brigade, I think it's worth playing four, especially since it's a level four, so you can cycle with it. But it's not the best card in the deck. It's actually one of the weaker cards in the deck. But like I said, you need to have as many, you need to have enough D Brigades to consistently get to the Dark Dramon play uh, at the end of the game. Then to top off our level fours, we're just playing four Tankmon. It's just really simple. We it's a one drop to Digivolve, um, so you get to cycle really quick. You can turn your things like Hagurumon or your uh, cheaper Commandermons into bigger attackers, which helps you get over blockers such as Pedomon or just better, uh, more safe and security check. And so Tankmon's really good at four of. I was running three of, um, but I I've been wanting to cycle this deck so we can get to the more of the cards that we're gonna see here in a little bit. So have Having a one drop to cycle as well as make security checks slightly safer is uh, really good, but mostly it's just a cycle card and uh, one that gets us easier, more easily into our tank Dramon. So if you can digivolve for one uh, and then go into our tank Dramon, tank Dramon we play three of, four of uh, makes it too clunky. You don't really want to see more than two of these on the field a game really uh, with at least this list and not at the same time. You usually don't get two tank Dramons at the same time, but digivolving into around two of these is usually good. Playing four. Um, has made me see too much clunkage of the Tank Dramon while I'm playing. So three is what I really like. Um, playing three with the eight four drops makes it consistent so that when you do see this, you can get this out relatively quickly and relatively easily and start getting value off of it. And it's also just one of the better uh, security checks um, because a lot of our things are not as high. So having a 7,000 is a good uh, amount of DP to have in security if we need. But yeah, this card is just value paired with the other Command Dramon, it really just recycles and makes sure that you're always having a board as much as possible. And then going into level 6, we have our three Dark Dramon. Once again, three is the number for me. You really only play one of these a game because uh, you're very rarely, if I mean pretty much never are you going to get 10 D Brigades into the discard pile uh, consistently. So you're most likely only going to get to play this on play effect once a game. So you don't need four because you don't really want to see two or three in your hand at once. You really only want to see one a game and this makes it consistent. Although I will say there are sometimes you did evolve this onto your tank Dramon just for the cyclage um, to get into chaos Mon like we're about to see or uh, just to have a more safe 11,000 security check, but for the most part you just want to see one of these a game So playing three gives you the perfect consistency for me playing four is definitely too much when I was testing four I consistently were seeing two in my hand when I didn't want to and uh, playing three that happens way less It's way more consistent Next we have one puppet mon to top off our level sixes um, Puppet mon is just a good one of it helps versus multiple matchups um, such as green uh, so they'll swing in and tap your They'll swing in, get rid of all of your security um, with their Hercules, and then they'll have blockers. And being able to um, play Puppet, tap their blocker, keep their Herc or their uh, Chaos Mon tapped, gives you more time to swing in, but it's also good versus yellow. Uh, you can tap their War Greymon, you can tap their blockers. This card has just been really good. I was playing more Puppet Mon, but it's one of those cards where it felt a little clunky, and it was only good when you really needed it. So um, I felt one is good you could technically cut this one puppet mon it's not necessary but i've been a really big fan of the one puppet mon when it does come into play it's really helpful um but most of the time you just kind of it's just security it's just like a a good backup plan that you may need in some matchups and so it works out um but yeah when i was playing more it was too many if you ever see two of these in your hand and you're not in a matchup or playing back-to-back -back puppet mons is a good idea then it's really bad so just having one just as a tech for when you need it um it's slightly inconsistent because you just have one but like i said it's a card that's done so well for me that uh, i did cut back down to one but i don't really consider going down below that because there are just so many matchups where having one surprise puppet mon really helps you then to top off the Digimon, we have two Chaos Mon. This is just to go over Dark Dramon mostly, but it can also go over Puppet Mon. But being able to play Dark Dramon, swing in over another Digimon, or swing into security, and then going over and getting a Piercer is really powerful. This Digimon is such a great engine tool for the deck because 
one, you don't have as many things that are safe to swing into security, but 14 is extremely safe in, to, to swing into security most times, or at least in most matchups, maybe not Omnimon, but um, 1400 is extremely safe to swing in, and plus it has piercing, so it's not only a huge offensive security check, but they can't block it without getting security checked again. So this card really, really helps um, in the end game. Being able to go Dark Dramon into Chaos Mon has been really, really good. Um, it does go over Puppet Mon sometimes, but almost always it goes over to Dark Dramon. Once again, this is a card that you really only want to see one of because you just want to go over your you want to pair it with your dark Dramon play um but yeah two is really good two is gives me the consistency that i want um and so yeah i stick with two tamers we're playing two ken uh you want to play ken over mimi because the only card that mimi can activate off of is puppet mon and when i cut the puppet mons it made it even less consistent since we're down to one so ken is just better because there are times where your uh, five thousand uh, level threes will swing over something and it gives you a memory but that's not why we're here the whole reason that we're here is the whole reason that we need a tamer is we need the memory we need the three memory at the beginning of the turn so that way whenever we get to our dark Shaman play we can spend the three mana that the dark Shaman is going to take and not pass to our opponent's turn and uh, I find Ken to be more important or be better than Izzy, let's say, because one Izzy, a lot of the time with the uh, green cards as well as the white and chaos mon, you're going to not get the extra memory. As to where with this, you're going to be able to, with Ken, you're going to be able to proc his ability a lot more. I was playing three tamers, but the thing about three tamers are with this deck you all you need specifically one tamer in play and that's it so three does give it more cons uh consistency but i had too many times where i would see two or three tamers uh throughout a game and you can only really play one because if you after playing that it's kind of a waste of memory so two uh there's enough cycle in this deck to where two has felt consistent for me uh you could definitely go up to three i would probably cut the puppet mon or potentially cut uh either Hagurumon or Jazamon, um, that would be my cut for a third one, but for now I think two is good because like I said, you just need the three memory, you don't need the secondary effect like at all, and uh, Ken just has the potential to give you some extra memory, and I feel like the extra memory that you can get off of this is going to be much more consistent than Izzy. And then to top off the deck, we're going to go to the card that is the reason that we are playing the green engine, and that is Needle Spray. So Needle Spray in this deck is what made this deck so good for me. Um, being able to, I mean, in security, if you're able to tap and then you're able to get this to your hand and then suspend something else, uh, most importantly blockers, going into your turn, then you're going to have way more... Uh, offensive pressure because you're gonna be able to tap needle spray has been absolutely absolutely insane in almost every single matchup uh, especially the ones that are really heavy on blockers because you can just tap a blocker if it comes to security you can tap two blockers um since it's going to come to your hand you can just replay it and yeah it's been it's been really good you you want to play needle spray over flower cannon because the whole point is to tap blockers this is a rookie rush deck so you want to get through blockers so you don't want to play Flower Cannon, because Flower Cannon Security says you cannot tap blockers, you do get to tap everything else, which is extremely powerful, but you don't get to tap blockers. And the whole point of this is, well, not the whole point, but the, the main purpose of Needle Spray is to tap blockers. So to get through them, so three Needle Spray is where it's at. You don't want to play four because, uh, again, consistency issues. You don't need to see that many Needle Sprays. It would be nicer to have Needle Sprays in security more often, but it's one of those things where three Needle Spray is just right where I like it. This has been the exact number that I've been playing the whole time. I've had felt no reason to change it. Four feels like, I, I just see it so consistently that four feels like I'll see it more than I need to, and any less feels like I won't see it as much as where three feels really perfect. So we're running three Needle Spray. This card is definitely the reason why you run green in this deck. It's so incredibly powerful. And you can also have times where you pair this with Puppet Mon, where uh, if you can, if you're at uh, the three memory from Ken, you can Needle Spray into Puppet Mon and really control the board that way. But Needle Spray's ability to just control your opponent's board and allow yourself to get more offensive pressure is just extremely, extremely, extremely powerful. But with that being said, this is my list. This is the green D Brigade Rookie Rush list. Um, I hope this has given some people a insight onto what this type of D-Brigade looks like. A lot of the people I played in webcam duels saying that they couldn't find a D-Brigade li list that they liked and they were also talking about that they really like this idea of 
D Brigade. So with so many people making comments like that, I figured it'd be best to bring out this D Brigade list since it's been the one that's been most successful for me and it's been really good. So I hope you have a great day. I'll see you for the next deck list video. See ya.